Thank you, Deputy Speaker. And I'm um, very keen to use this opportunity in the grievance debate to put some very serious grievances on behalf of my own electorate on the record in this place. Um, in particular, I want to talk firstly about some serious issues we have around the need for investment in transport infrastructure and then more broadly um, some of the areas particularly around education and uh, community that we need some support from the government in achieving. Um, so first of all to the, the significance of transport infrastructure is um, I hope many of my colleagues in the, this place would know that um, Wollongong is the third largest city in New South Wales. We have uh, extensive connections into the Sydney um, CBD and suburbs and also across to Western Sydney. We have a, a significant port with capacity for development and I would argue capacity to be a, an important um, link to the new uh, Etropolis that's planned but also um, to the tasks that the port of Sydney itself um, has to deal with. And these things are real opportunities, not only for economic development uh, in the Wollongong region, but also for the jobs that would flow from that. Uh, there are three major pieces of transport infrastructure links that are significantly important to our region. And uh, they are things that uh, the Labor Party in the lead up to the election made commitments on. And um, I'm seeking support from the Minister, given that we didn't win the election, to actually have this government put some investment into our region. I note that the um, Deputy Prime Minister, in answer to many questions in the um, question time over recent days, has said that in, uh, congestion busting infrastructure is being rolled out across the nation. Um, well, I'm going to draw his attention to the fact that Wollongong is part of the nation and we don't have a single cent committed, despite the significance strategically that we play uh, in New South Wales. The first project I want to talk to members about is the Malden on Barton Rail Link. This is, um, uh, in effect, a half-built rail link that um, was uh, stopped in the 80s and um, has been significantly researched, significant number of reports written on uh, this link and how important it is in order to move freight, um, in particular uh, linked to the port. It's, um, I have to say, thanks to my state colleague, Paul Scully, the member for Wollongong, who was able to get, a, um, get released uh, a report of the state government uh, that tells us how critically important getting this rail link completed actually is. Um, the business case that he was able to get a copy of tells us that the, um, the freight train paths, which currently the freight trains at the moment come on the Illawarra line, which is the main commuter line, um, will be cut from 60 paths per day to just eight, just eight over coming years, and in fact could confine freight operations to night time only by 2031, and many of us, I'm sure, are conscious that 2031 is coming much, much sooner than we might have thought. Uh, and when you're building major infrastructure, you have to be ready to get underway because it's not a short-term project. Um, the, this business case specifically warns that the consequences of deferral of the completion of this Malton Dombarton Rail project includes a lack of capacity on the Illawarra line, due to the deployment of Sydney Rail Futures, which will prioritise passenger services, uh, congestion on the existing Unandera Coniston Junction, a lack of capacity for passenger services, increasing construction costs, a less viable and more environmentally sensitive existing corridor, and risks of existing assets, such as bridges, cuttings, embankments and civil structures becoming dilapidated. Uh, so this is clearly a really important piece of transport infrastructure required for uh, the uh, servicing of the freight task into our region. At the election, um, Federal Labor committed $50 million to progress a, um, a public-private type partnership to get that line built, um, but we haven't seen a matching commitment from the Federal Government and given 
uh, how important freight is. I'm certainly seeking uh, the support of um, the minister to actually look at an investment in getting that rail line progressed. The other two key par uh, parts of the story are the Appen Road and the Picton Road, which are the two main roads that feed into Wollongong. Uh, we gave a commitment for $55 million for safety upgrades to the Appen Road, which included a construction of a koala pass, because there is a very rare local koala colony along that road, which obviously uh, is a very busy road, and uh, we need to uh, ensure that that colony has the capacity to pass safely. And $50 million were committed by Labor to the Picton Road for safety upgrades on that road. Um, so all up, we've got three significant pieces of transport infrastructure, very heavily used, into the third largest city in New South Wales. Um, I'm putting the argument to the minister that if he's serious about congestion busting, he cannot ignore Wollongong. He cannot ignore our region um, if he's serious about being uh, responsible for these conge congestion busting commitments across the nation. Please do not forget that we exist um, and look seriously at these projects.